Well, as you could probably see here, I've put most of this sound design turntable out of its misery. Most of it. But now we just really have to finish it off. So let's do that with my old baseball bat. Except I really never play baseball. I actually never did. And my old bowling ball, which I don't care for anymore because I outgrew this bowling ball. So let's see what happens here. Let's try the baseball bat first. <laughs> well, that kind of helped with the dust cover. Dust cover's all busted. And the tone arm went flying here. Here. It's just that crappy plastic tone arm. With its little orange magnetic cartridge. <laughs> now the cartridge just went flying. I don't know where it went. Oh, it's over there. Alright, hold on. There's the cartridge. I don't know how, why it's going all out of focus there. But that's the cartridge. <laughs> now, for the grand finale. Here we go, there's going to be a loud crash. Oops, I forgot one thing. I can't leave the cartridge out of this. It's got to participate too. <laughs> well, it actually hammered the, uh, the platter back in place. Here's a closer look at the mechanism. You got your standard cheap all plastic platter with the built-in 45 adapter, which is pretty cool. Your speed adjustment right here. This was a semi-automatic turntable. That was the motor. And here's the belt in all of its stretched out glory. Hopefully what I'm showing here is showing up on the camera. Oops, that's the belt. Belt drive, or it was. There's no trimmers or anything for the 33 or 45 speeds. It's just like generic, like right in there. So. That's the cheap sound design turntable now. All out of its misery. Thanks for watching.